five million years ago, humanity's journey began through struggle, fire, and the first fragile steps towards survival. Five million years ago, there were no modern humans like us. The Earth was home to our distant ancestors, early hominines, who lived a life of constant struggle, danger, and survival. They were not yet human as we know today, but they were standing on the edge of becoming something more. Their world was wild, untamed, and filled with predators far stronger and faster than them. These ancestors, creatures like Australopithecus, walked on two legs, but still carried many traits of apes. Their brains were small, their bodies were short, and their lives were brutally hard. Yet in their eyes, there was the spark of intelligence, the beginning of a journey that would one day lead to us. The harsh world around them, the African plains stretched wide, with tall grass swaying under the hot sun. Herds of wild animals roamed freely, giant elephants, ancient antelopes, and dangerous saber-toothed cats lurking in the shadows. For these early humans, every day was a question of life or death. They did not live in houses, they had no fire, they had no weapons, the world belonged to the beasts, and they were just fragile survivors trying to find a place in it. Hunting and gathering. These ancestors were not great hunters. They did not have the strength to fight lions or leopards, nor the tools to bring down large animals. Instead, they lived as scavengers and gatherers. They searched the forests for fruits, nuts, and roots. They cracked open hard shells to eat seeds. Sometimes they found the leftovers of a predator's kill, bones with bits of meat still attached. And with sharp stones, they scraped and chewed what little they could. Imagine the scene, a small group creeping carefully toward a carcass while vultures circle above and hyenas growl in the distance. They only had moments to rip what they could before stronger predators returned. This was their hunting, risky, desperate, but it kept them alive social life and movement. They moved in small groups, families bound together for survival. Every individual mattered. A child meant hope for the future, but also more mouths to feed. They likely communicated with gestures, sounds, and cries, not yet with full language, but with enough to warn each other of danger. Traveling with constant, they did not settle in one place for long. When food ran out, they walked. When predators grew too close, they moved again. Their footprints in the sand told the silent story of a restless life, always running, always searching. The struggle for survival. Life expectancy was short. Injuries meant death. A broken bone could end a life because there were no healers, no tools, no safety. The night was the most terrifying of all. Darkness filled with the roars of lions and the howls of hyenas. Early humans huddled together under trees or in caves, clutching each other for warmth, praying the predators would pass them by. Yet despite all the suffering, they adapted. They learned which plants to eat and which to avoid. They learned to stand upright and move faster across the land. They began to recognize sharp stones as tools for cutting. These tiny steps of survival were the beginning of human progress, the first sparks of what would one day become civilization. The first steps of human progress. The world of five million years ago was merciless, but within the struggle, change was happening. Evolution was shaping these fragile beings, step by step, into something new. They were no longer just like apes. They were becoming the first survivors with vision. The Awakening of Intelligence. Though their brains were small compared to modern humans, there was growth. They began to understand patterns in nature. They learned where fruit trees grew, which rivers held fish, and which caves offered shelter. Slowly, instinct was turning into memory, and memory was becoming knowledge. One day, a group stumbled upon a sharp piece of stone broken by chance. They discovered it could scrape meat from bones better than teeth. Another time, a stone cracked a nut open that their bare hands could not. These were tiny moments, but they changed everything. The first tools were born, not crafted yet, but discovered. The bond of the tribe. Living alone meant certain death, but together they stood a chance. 
Families grew into small tribes. They began to share food instead of keeping it only for themselves. The stronger ones protected the weaker. Mothers cared for children longer than most animals did. And this bond of protection was the secret to survival. At night, they huddled together, eyes glowing in the fireless darkness, listening to predators in the distance. Fear united them. Every sunrise felt like victory because it meant they had lived one more night, learning to outsmart the beasts. They could not defeat lions, but they could outthink them. When a predator made a kill, early humans watched carefully from the shadows. As soon as the beast left to drink or rest, the tribe rushed in, cutting with sharp stones, grabbing bones and meat before the hunters returned. It was dangerous, but intelligence was becoming their weapon. Over time, they began to understand teamwork. Some would keep watch while others collected food. Some distracted predators with noise while others stole what they needed. It was crude, it was desperate, but it was strategy. The first signs of humanity, even in this harsh age, traces of humanity appeared. A mother mourning her lost child, a group waiting near a sick member even though they could have abandoned them. The earliest sparks of compassion were there. It was not just survival, it was the beginning of love, of care, of something greater than instincts. A glimpse of the future. They could not know it, but these small steps, walking upright, using stones, living in groups, were the foundation of all human history. They were the fragile beginnings of a species that would one day control fire, build cities, and reach the stars. But for now, they were just shadows on the African plains, running, hiding, fighting, and learning, slowly rising above the beasts around them. The Flame of Survival The days of scavenging and hiding had gone on for millions of years, but slowly, something was changing. Our ancestors were no longer just surviving, they were beginning to bend nature to their will. The most powerful moment came when they discovered something that would change the course of humanity forever. The First Encounter with Fire It began not with invention, but with fear. A storm ripped through the skies, lightning struck the dry savanna, and flames roared across the grasslands. The tribe cowered, trembling, as the fire devoured everything in its path. Yet, when the flames passed, they found something extraordinary. The carcass of an animal, cooked by fire. Cautiously, they tasted it. The meat was softer, easier to chew, and safer to eat. This was a miracle. They had no idea how to make fire themselves yet, but they began to keep the embers alive, protecting them, feeding them twigs, never letting them die. Fire became their greatest treasure. Fire and safety. For the first time in history, knights were no longer ruled by fear. With fire burning near their shelters, predators kept their distance. The glowing flames gave warmth against the cold, light against the dark, and courage against the endless roars of the wild. Around the fire, the tribe felt something new, safety. The fire became more than survival, it became a gathering place. They sat together, sharing food, watching the flames dance. The spark of community grew stronger. Tools and weapons. With fire came new ideas. Stones heated in the fire cracked differently, shaping sharper edges. Bones hardened in the flames could be used as tools. Soon, Spears tipped with sharpened stones became the first weapons. No longer did they have to wait for predators to leave scraps. They could hunt smaller animals themselves. The hunters moved silently through the grass, working together, surrounding their prey. For the first time, the tribe tasted the victory of a true hunt. Fire gave them courage, and tools gave them power. The birth of stories. At night, when the hunts were over and the flames flickered, something magical happened. The tribe began to speak in ways beyond simple cries and gestures. They pointed, grunted, and acted out the dangers of the day. The lion that chased them, 
the river that almost drowned them. These were the first stories. Though not yet language, it was the beginning of imagination. Around the fire, memories turned into lessons, and lessons turned into culture. Each generation passed down its knowledge, and slowly, humanity was no longer just surviving, it was learning, teaching, and dreaming a turning point. From frightened scavengers to fire keepers, these ancestors had taken their first true leap forward. They were no longer powerless against nature. They had found light in the darkness, warmth in the cold, and strength in unity. The flame they guarded was more than just fire. It was hope. It was the beginning of humanity's rise, the spark that would eventually lead to villages, civilizations, and the world we know today. Their journey was still long, but the path was now lit. The end of the beginning. The flame of survival had been lit. With fire, tools, and unity, our ancestors were no longer weak shadows on the plains. They were becoming the most powerful beings on Earth. But the journey was not finished. They still had millions of years ahead, filled with struggle, adaptation, and transformation. The Age of Wanderers. As tribes grew, food became scarce in one place. So they moved, farther and farther than ever before, across rivers, through forests, over mountains. Their footprints spread across Africa, each step carrying the story of survival. They faced ice and snow, burning deserts and endless seas. Many died, but those who survived grew stronger. This was the age of wanderers, when humans began to explore the world beyond their birthplace. The rise of new species. Over time, different branches of humans appeared. Homo habilis, the handyman, the first real toolmaker. Homo erectus, taller, stronger, the first to truly master fire and travel great distances. Neanderthals, powerful hunters of Europe who thrived in the Ice Age. Each species carried the torch of progress, shaping the human story step by step. But it was not until around 200,000 years ago that the final form of humanity arrived. Homo sapiens, the wise man. The dawn of Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens were different. Their brains were larger, their bodies more adaptable, and their minds filled with imagination. They created sharper weapons, stronger shelters, and painted the first symbols on cave walls. They spoke real language, words that carried meaning, emotion, and memory. Stories grew into culture, and culture grew into identity. They were no longer just surviving, they were living. The fall of rivals, when Homo sapiens spread across the globe, they encountered their cousins, the Neanderthals, the Denisovans, and other human species. Sometimes they fought, sometimes they mixed, but slowly, one by one, those other species disappeared. By 30,000 years ago, Homo sapiens stood alone, the last survivors of the ancient human family. The world now belonged to them, masters of the earth. With fire, tools, language, and imagination, they tamed the wild. They built shelters, hunted in packs, and stored food. Soon, they learned farming, raised animals, and built villages. Villages became cities, cities became civilizations. From fragile scavengers five million years ago to rulers of the earth today, their journey was the greatest story of survival ever told, the legacy. When we look at ourselves now, flying planes, building skyscrapers, reaching for the stars, it is hard to imagine that our ancestors once trembled in the dark, afraid of lions. But it was that fear, that struggle, that made us what we are. The story of humanity is not just about power, it is about courage, unity, and the will to survive. The end of the beginning came when Homo sapiens rose. From then on, 
The true history of civilization began, and it all started with those first fragile steps five million years ago. The end. History.